Please welcome Oliver from the CFMEU. Thank you, Rima, and thank you all for uh, giving me this time to talk about the attack on my union, the CFMEU. So I'm going to give you a bit of a yarn about why I care so much about the CFMEU. Um, I'm sorry if I get emotional. Uh, it was about a year ago um, when I heard the news that a scaffolder fell 10 metres and was hospitalised at Cross River Rail. There was a sort of quiet around my lunchroom. Usually, you know, you have a bit of a yarn, yeah, make some jokes. The fucking, oh, excuse me. Um, it was dead quiet. There you go, union thug. Um, it was dead quiet. And the reason for that was because we didn't work there. We were far away. But we all felt it. Because in an industry as dangerous as construction, everyone in a non-union job has been pushed to do something dangerous. When you hear the stories about injury or death, when you see a co-worker who's been maimed in the service of profit, you get scared and you get angry. But you can't hold on to that anger forever because there seems to be no hope that things will change. And you can't live with the pain, so you just push it down. But something changed that day. I saw thousands of construction workers march out in protest, organised by the CFMEU. I was allowed to hope again that things could be better. I could feel the pain because it was kept alive with hope. I let the anger drive me to fight for a better world. It's the same thing with all of you. Being here, I can feel the anger for Palestine because I can feel the hope that we can change it. The Federal Labor Government has suspended, suspended almost the entire elected leadership of the CFMEU and imposed an unelected administration upon construction workers. And that's just not paid officials, that's rank and file members who have been put into executive positions. The State Labor Government has done the same for my branch. This administrator will have almost unchecked powers to fire union staff, sell off union assets and compel union staff even if they're no longer employed by the union. All of this, all of this done, um, while the administrator is doing all of this, he can just ignore the rules that the uh, union members have voted on. This isn't about cor corruption. If you want to look at criminal connections, look at the big construction business. If you're looking at criminal connections, why are you looking at the Queensland branch who has not had a single allegation of criminal connections made against them? If you're looking for criminal connections, why don't you, the Labor Party, have a look at your connection to the war criminals over in Israel? This is nothing but an attack on construction workers' ability to organise. It's just another step in Albanese's campaign against protest rights around the country. We need to stick together because united, the people, the working class, can overcome any schemes that the bosses and the government have in store for us. I've got a message for you, Albanese. You can't beat the CFMEU. You can't beat Palestine. And you can't beat the working class. I'd appreciate it if you all rocked up to a rally on Tuesday at 11am, happening right here at Queen's Garden. All community members are uh, invited. If you want to join us, pick up a flyer over at the Unionist of Palestine uh, tent. We've got the CFMEU flag. Um, I want to finish off, finish off with my favourite CFMEU chant. And let me tell you why this chant is important. It's not just about defiance, it's about dignity and power. The bosses and the government want to paint us a weak, as an isolated, small group. But we are the majority. We are the workers who build the city, who create the world, who make society function, and we stand with Palestine. 
when we chant, they don't like us, we don't care. We're declaring that we're not just here for our oppressor's approval. We're here to build power and to win. It's a reminder that we have the strength to resist, to push back, to win what's right. Just like the CFMEU stands strong against attacks on workers, we stand with Palestine against genocide. We fight together because we know when we unite, we win. Now here's the chant, comrades. They don't like us! They don't like us! We don't care! They don't like us! We don't care! Thank you very much, comrades.